Today on Podcast Them Down, we're finishing up rating every single sport in the Olympics in terms of metalness. Welcome to Podcast Them Down. I'm Tim Regan from U.S. power metal band Burning Shadows, Fade to Black Metallica Tribute, Dual Violin Folk Metal Band Eisenmore, and recently vacated Graves True Zombie Metal. Be sure to subscribe, like, or follow. And now, on with the show. I didn't fuck up hitting the button this week. So... <laughs> Tim, since I'm the only one in the business of selling your merch these days, <laughs> is it, we're going back and forth in the U.S. and American power battle thing. You know, I'm not going to go down that alley now, but if, if you're a U.S. power metal band, have you at least secured that the shirts you sell are, are American made? Uh, they are printed in America if you buy them in America. Or Canada. Oh. Uh, but that is not true. If you live in California, they're printed in Tijuana. So, 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 uh, so to review, California, not in the United States. Uh, no, I, I just remembered the, 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 the plant in Tijuana as I was saying. <laughs> so, all right. So if you're in the East Coast of the U.S., they're made right. in North Carolina. If you are, uh, there, there's a plant in Tijuana. And this this goes for Eisenmore shirts as well, by the way. Uh, our, our European Union friends, if you buy a Burning Shadows shirt, it will be printed in Latvia. So within the EU. That's the I, North Carolina of Europe. And I think uh, it's possible they're also printed in Spain. But uh, So uh, if anyone's listening in the UK, I don't know where yours are printed from. So here's what you do. Buy a shirt at uh, mm-hmm. steelresolve.com, and then I'll tell you where it ships from. How about that? <laughs> like, like, just put a comment when you buy, and, uh, huh. That's right. Yeah, so, th- thank you for helping sell shirts, Doug. There you go. You should Through make metal, a USA, uh, you should make a USA metal team shirt. There we go. Yeah. And, uh, uh Doug, your, your shirt was definitely printed in the United States. So. <laughs> Damn right. Who knows where the actual th- shirt came from? But. A lot more than Doug can say about those Baltimore County flags. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm not going to verify city on flag? the air. <laughs> Isn't one yeah, the Baltimore that, City flag there? That, that's, that's the Baltimore flag. flag. Yeah, Can't that's... you see it has a little mini city on it? <laughs> that that uh, memorializes our defeat of the British Try to fuck with this city. The next hey, wait, event- wait. wait. <laughs> I yeah. just have a question on I'm I'm looking at uh, steelresolve.com. Is the fade to black ninja star shirt the fade to black B in the Metallica like ninja star pattern? That's exactly what it is. Hey, I'm funny, have to, funny I'm story. I'm gonna have to buy this shirt. You know, a fade to black is is criminally underrepresented on this podcast. So I, I did want to say we were trying to get a bunch of those shirts that you're talking about printed by a different company, uh, uh, made in bulk, and so they refused to do it be on copyright grounds. So what? I wrote back, uh, what? There is copyrighted. And they said the artwork. And I was like, yeah, okay. What part of the artwork? The front or the back? And they, uh, they didn't respond. So I got in a live chat. And, uh, so I said, uh, what's the status of the hold on my order? I, you know, uh, what is copyrighted? And they said, it's being held due to copyright. I'm like, yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> I told you that. So he's so I was worried it was the Ninja Star thing that they think is copyrighted by Metallica, which is it wouldn't be. And it turns out they think Fade to Black is a Metallica album. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, it's not an album. You can't copyright titles. You can't copyright lyrics. And the font is a freeware font. Therefore, this isn't copyrighted, but they, um, they still wouldn't 
do anything so i canceled the order <laughs> but the uh so if you order them from steel resolve they are it's a different company that isn't run by a bunch of morons so <laughs> <laughs> man yeah so, i'm literally uh, buying like 60 dollars worth of burning shadows rich right now <laughs> And an eyes and more good shit on here. Get Mjolnir'd shirt. (laughs) (laughs) Who came up with Who came up with get Mjolnir'd? I I forget. Either you or Mark, I think. Uh, It sounds like something Mark. I know Mark ran with it. (laughs) Yeah, or or maybe it was Nick, and then Mark ran with it. Yeah, I I I don't know who deserves credit for that one, but uh, we all agreed it was brilliant. Man, this is amazing. Well, let's yeah. end the Shill Olympics and start the Olympics. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Next event. Fencing. There are three fencing disciplines. Ape, foil, and saber. And they're all slightly different. Uh, mm. I'm, I'm going to jump ahead of Mike's argument that he made several times before. It's, it's hoity-toity. It's prim and proper. Uh, however, it looks cool as shit because they got all the they got the lights down low, and when you make contact, like all the LEDs go off, and they uh, there's a fair amount of anonym anonymity. You know what word I'm trying to say because of the masks. Uh, so I think all those things uh, mixed it's together. It's like a cancel- Daft Punk concert. <laughs> I think all those things mixed together. And cancel out, but I'm also going to still knock off a couple points because they made swords boring, so it's a four. So, mm. so it's like the the appeal of Arcturus, where it's it's kind of like, like at this point they're like space aliens. Uh, I, I can I, I can see that I can see that. Let's see. Yeah, I mean I mean four probably seems about right. Sure. They're swords. They're boring. But okay. I, I, I agree with your argument. I'm I'm going to give uh, fencing a nine because it has a memory alpha entry. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're rating metal scores, not uh, Star Trek I mean, I just, scores. <laughs> just, for the sake of, just for the sake of old times, I plugged it into memory alpha and I got fencing was an ancient earth sport in which two competitors in protective clothing faced off against each other armed with thin blunted sword like weapons i mean uh, what, what more do you need and there's a picture of captain mccard shining his saber if they're still doing it in the 24th century it's metal yep uh nine <laughs> thank you Doug. wow wow okay <laughs> next uh, i i i, I protest your scores but i'm not going to do anything about it <laughs> all right That's field hockey metal. Field hockey, I, you know, it's very tempting to compare it to ice hockey, but they are different sports. I think their little club is kind of stupid. Uh, there's plenty of uh, potential for injury. What with, uh, you know, the, these metal bats swinging around your uh, ankles and, um, you know, and they, they, uh, yeah, it's, it's un- unreasonably violent, believe it or not but it's still kind of meh. So I'm going to give that one a four as well. They wear rollerblades? No rollerblades. No, it's they field wear? hockey. It's, they run around <clears throat> uh, they run. on a soccer field, basically. Okay, yeah, apparently I don't know shit about field hockey. Is that the one where they wear them them skirts? Yeah, they wear uh, kilts. Uh, I don't know if the don't, men's do. But. Don't jump ahead of me, Doug. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to let Matt go. All right. So, as a high schooler, I remember field hockey was the was the sport in which they played skirts, uh, and I appreciated that as a young man. Uh, but I am and shocked and disappointed to see that a um, skirts are optional for women's Olympic field hockey. I see a lot of people nice. wearing skirts, if oh. not shorts, and the uh, men. I, I didn't are know that's wearing- where you're going. <laughs> the men are not wearing skirts either. So this shocking lack of required skirts is going to bring it down to a three. If it was a sport that had all the intensity of hockey, all the running on grass of soccer, and required skirts, it would be a 10 out of 10 every day. 
Okay. I'm gonna piggyback on that logic and score. <laughs> I like. I like. That. <laughs> uh, yeah. Mike, rate the sport you don't know. <laughs> All right. So they're running around. They there's there's bats. Sort yeah, of. they look like uh, upside down canes. Like think of a walking cane, uh, but okay. make it stumpier. Uh, but it has like that kind of J shape. Um, okay. Kind of like a cricket paddle. So it yeah. Whittled down and turned with into a little a cane. with a little toe on it. Is there a? Yeah. Front? It's a no, ball. It's a ball. It, it's like every time I think it's going to get cool, it doesn't. <laughs> The the, yeah, the the goaltender the goaltender uh is wearing hockey like pads. Is it uh, is it just the legs or the whole body? Well, they don't wear a they, they don't wear like a torso pad. Um but they wear um uh like like shin like very much like ice hockey shin guards. Uh and then they wear um Perhaps uh, uh, Tim and Mike are more familiar with these because they're parents. But like you know, you know, like the Hulk smash gloves. <laughs> so they're just like these big foam. Like they look like cartoon punching hands um, with a hole in the middle of it, so they can like brandish their stick. Oh, I I think due to the the up and down nature of all the information I've received because. Okay, there's there's some appeal to the, like, okay, we want to do hockey, but without ice. So it's like, we could do rollerblades, but no, fuck it, we're just going to run around. Because we we just don't even feel like dealing with rollerblades. And there's something appealing from a metal sensibility of just, like, no, I can't, I'm, I'm not going to give up and use a tool. I'm just going to use, like, my raw, you know, my my raw human power to to run around instead of skate around, but then it's like a ball and not a puck. So nobody's going to lose teeth and they have metal bats, but they don't look, they look kind of weird. So yeah, I, I think I'm going to go into five here because it's now, it's just, now before, before you lock in Mike, I will tell you that according to my Wikipedia research, okay. It might have been invented by the Mongolians. Thanks. <laughs> All right. Uh, next is football, known to our American friends as soccer. So, uh, I don't know. Someone else start. <laughs> I don't. I don't. My sister will kill me, but I'm not that big in the soccer. It's just not. It's it's a. It's just very boring. It's just long and meandering. So I guess <laughs> this is even more like a prog. Well, that's- I don't know. That's kind of metal, long and meandering. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for not violent, much payoff. <laughs> violent spectacle, right? Where nothing happens, and it's rife very with cor- uh, rife with corruption as well. You're rewarded <laughs> for being over dramatic, <laughs> and the the game itself is anti democratic. <laughs> the way the extra time is just tacked on. You don't know where it comes from. What the calculation <laughs> is. Oh man, that was a good one. Just whatever some Dane with a with a watch says. <laughs> yeah, like people run metal archives. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I think I'm going to pretty metal. It's sounding like yeah, these are these are good arguments. I'm giving uh, soccer, aka association football, a nine. Uh, it's European. Uh, it's underappreciated by a, a rabid. A uh, group of American fans, so that's metal. Um, it's ubiquitous uh, in Europe and South America. That's pretty metal. Um, it involves uh, a lot of uh, passion, oftentimes socially unacceptable passion. Uh, it involves some aspects of modern society that we do not like, um, and yet the more we penalize it, the more it rears its ugly head uh soccer is the heavy metal of team sport uh and uh it gets a nine if it involved murder if there were like spikes on the soccer ball or like the ability to like (laughs) punch someone in the face uh on purpose it would be a 10 but it's a nine it's it's my highest non-killing art score i believe all great points 
uh, I hate the pretending to be hurt and writhing around in agony like like an idiot. Uh, so because of that, I'm going to knock off one point, uh, but I'll give it an eight. I'll, I'll do a seven here. I'll do a seven. I'm mostly going to go with a nine. Um, the, the sport does have primitive violent origins. I, I think in like uh, uh, Gaelic towns. I mean, it's kind of a folk thing. I think in uh, even or originating from feudal times. I mean, it's just mobs of drunken people trying to get a ball or an object across a, a line with another town and just men piling on top of men. And from this, we get all of our codes for various football. So, definite nine. All right, next one. Golf. Uh, negative ten. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. Fuck you, golf. Negative ten. <laughs> yeah, if okay. you give a negative score, you don't need to justify it. Part of the Star Trek rules, I think. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna briefly argue that it should be valued higher than a negative ten. Please do. I mean, this is a pretty pretty audacious argument, Mike. Oh no 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 no! no. I I've, I've got it. <laughs> All right. So golf it's very independent. Like it's not a team mm. sport. You're completely disregarding every other player on the course. It's just about you versus yourself. So it's about like how much you can defeat the 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 course in front of you. Not only that, you're struggling desperately to get a minuscule object <laughs> into a hole large distances away using only your bare using a stick. Basically it's just a metal stick. You're you're hitting something very hard to try to get it into an impossibly small opening. There's a lot of des- despair. There's a lot of struggle, and it requires a lot of skill to actually be able to pull that off. Yeah, and it reminds me of the the guitar arts. <laughs> the guitar yeah. arts. No, if, 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 there, there's a lot of uh, discipline, and you gotta you gotta be able to analyze things correctly. And it, um, is, I mean, I, I would at least say a three or a four. I'll go with a four. Wow. You know, I, I think, Mike, you've won me over. Um, and I'm also thinking, much like metal, golf has a lot of gear discussion where people are really <laughs> into different kinds of gear that make marginal differences to anyone else except for the subjective uh, experience of the person utilizing that gear. Uh, I'm going to give a 10-point increase and give it a solid zero. <laughs> I, too, am going to increase my score and give it a negative 9.98. <laughs> uh, I'm going to give it a 4. Yeah, I mean, it's fundamentally <laughs> douchey, but it is pretty metal. Is that our Wait, fir- I, That's our first just, average negative score, I think. <laughs> I just remembered a floppy golf hat. <laughs> I'm going to give it a point zero zero one. <laughs> St- still, still negative. All right, moving on. Uh... This is a group, uh, gymnastics, starting with artistic gymna- gymnastics. That includes the vault, the floor, the palm of horse, the rings, etc. Uh, I think this, uh, has the potential to cause the most injury with uh, that. That's entirely your own fault. <laughs> so, uh, and at the expense of showing off, mm-hmm. uh-huh. just and like. Alexi Lejos of, of the world, R.I.P. And the most minuscule mistake costs you a bunch of points for no reason. <laughs> so, uh, because of because of all that, I'm going to actually give artistic gymnastics a five, which is almost 15 points higher than I gave golf. <laughs> uh, I I agree with you. Um, much like heavy metal. Uh, all the scoring in gymnastics is entirely subjective. Uh, it's just whatever that judge fucking feels like. Um, who knows what point deductions mean? Um, it's like an insular little club. 
um, people have disagreements over things that no one else remembers, that's at least a 5.5 for me. You gave it a 5. That's a 5.5. I, I, I agree. You know, the, uh, all, all good points. I'll, I'll go with a 6 for this one. See, to me, it would even be a solid seven for reasons uh-huh. Matt outlined primarily. But, but, uh oh. While, while metal is art, the word artistic <laughs> is never a, <laughs> applied to metal. Immediate Artist- disqualifier. So I should go with zero, but I'm going to go with four. <laughs> Can you please rename wow. Shanda's American artistic metal? <laughs> <laughs> All right, next is rhythm, rhythmic gymna- gymnastics. Man, I can't talk. Uh, True rhythmic, artistic metal. <laughs> rhythmic gymnastics. And uh, this, is, this is where they uh, dance around with the ribbons. You know, it's neat to watch and all that, I guess. It's not but, metal. But uh, it, anything where you're holding a ribbon, <laughs> I don't think it's very metal. So I'm going to give this a one. I mean, it's metal in the like the backdrop of a Bon Jovi music video sense, but <laughs> is that metal though? That might that might make it even less metal. That might be an argument against against it even further. <laughs> yeah, yeah, still more metal than Mudvayne, but <laughs> I think a one is about appropriate, just for metalness. See, th- th- there's the metal is all rhythm, but this this ain't rhythm. This is dangling some ribbons. <laughs> yeah, I mean, about the only thing I can do to get there is imagining the ribbons can be used as like, a, and I don't know if I'm going to pronounce this right, a garret, a garrote. You know, like, like you could technically strangle somebody with the ribbons. So I mean, there's yeah, but I think typically you're alone on the floor. So you're gonna only kill yourself with the ribbons. It's pretty and, metal too, though. I mean, and is. what about the what about the hoop? What about the hoop, Mike? There's also a hoop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just to be safe, I'm gonna give this a zero. <laughs> is, it, is the hoop like a hula hoop? Oh yeah, it it okay. is like a hula hoop, but it's not. It's a professional Olympic hoop. Okay. Uh. <laughs> they didn't buy it at five and below. The night before the Olympics. Do you remember that? Do you remember the website realultimatepower.net? Yes. <laughs> there were several times when you described folding a frisbee in half and trying to eat it as a way to, like, I, I believe, unless I'm just totally making this up, but I'm just imagining that you could do that with the hoop. That's where my brain went with this. Maybe you could try to kill yourself with the hoop. <laughs> it's a stretch. <laughs> I I I have no words. I have nothing to say. I'm just giving it a one and moving on. Yeah, same. Yeah. All right, so. next trampoline. A uh, high high chance of getting incredibly injured. So I'm gonna give it a six. It's definitely the most metal of gymnastic events. Um, six is right. Go for five. Yeah, me too. It it would be certainly easier to intentionally kill yourself on a trampoline, (laughs) I think, than with a hoop or a ribbon. Well, yeah, there's five, leave it at that. All right, handball. Do you all know what handball is? What? No. Handball handball? is if basketball was soccer. Yeah, it's basically like... Every rule of soccer reversed. Right. <laughs> Play it inside. You can only use your hands. <laughs> and the ball? Yeah, so it's anti-soccer. Uh, it, it can get violent, what with all the elbows. But uh, I'm, I'm reading ahead, and it's not as violent as the next one by any stretch. I'm going to give it a two and a half. This... This is some nonsense. <laughs> like, can, I, I believe you can't run when you have the ball, right? Or is it 
I, so I forget. So, it's something I, like that. Yeah. Like it's kind of like, frisbee. I think, yeah, Frisbee. What are you, that, uh, it's ultimate, ultimate Frisbee, the, yeah. <laughs> the game. <laughs> See, Australian rules football is the real basketball football combination where you have to bat, you have to dribble a football and then kick. Anyway, the amazing game. This is a picture copied from an amphora shows youths paying, playing a version of handball circa yeah. 500 BC. Yeah, I mean, it has the same violent origins as regular football, so on that basis, I'm going to give it a four. Uh, and when I, I say football, for our listeners, I mean soccer. Body contact is permitted for defenders trying to stop the attackers from promoting, promoting approaching Excuse me, the goal. Uh... I'm going to say a six. Uh, it's at least as metal as trampoline. <laughs> <laughs> it was, but, but like with trampoline, the injury would be like way more absolute. You know, if if you got injured in trampoline, you're going to get way more fucked up than if somebody a handball knocks you over. You know what I mean? I know. I'm typing into my my Google machine handball injuries. <laughs> And here are the 11 most common handball injuries. Sprained Mayo ankle, clinic. patella dislocation, throwing shoulder, oh. ACL injury, oh. dislocated shoulder. You didn't search for pictures? Oh, Ooh. I mean, I can look for pictures. Uh, there's you a lot. You can do oh. all that at once on one trampoline. <laughs> there's a lot of writhing and pain. Yeah. Oh, oh. I mean, none of them are quite as good as the woman falling face first into the puddle. But but there are stretchers in my Google image search here. Yeah, I, I think I'll, I'm going to agree with Doug and go for a four here. Like I, I, I get it. I'm sort of perplexed by the sport. All right, next so, is judo, and I believe that's the uh, martial art that involves a bunch of flipping. Not jujitsu, yeah. but <clears throat> judo also has throwing. It's you, a throwing you throw your art. opponent. That's pretty metal. Yeah, I'm gonna score. It's got to be significantly higher than boxing for me, so I'm going seven. Hmm. I'll do a nine here. Um, it's a few reasons. One, yeah, you, you, for one, I believe judo involves like identifying and using the, the center of your opponent's gravity against them, and that seems like a very metal skill, right? To just be like, <laughs> oh yeah, I know. I know how it's just like completely offset this person. But the other thing is that lots of throwing reminds me of playing Mortal Kombat 3 in arcades and trying throwing at the very last moment when I was just about to die. And that was cool. I have already updated my score to an (laughs) 8. Yeah, I mean, judo... Is like the progenitor of all these combat sports um, that we associate with metal, and to a much greater degree, new metal. Um, you know, any any UFC entrance music is probably a new metal song. Um, uh, <laughs> there's also some like Japanese fetishism, which I think is very metal. Um, so I'm gonna give it a, a, a nine point five here. Is the Japanese fetishism metal? Oh yeah, I, I I think I have you have you listened to to baby metal or or baby beard? Oh, uh, uh, okay. I was th- I was thinking a very different angle. No, there's there's uh yeah 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 yeah. I don't so, so that so that's an interesting one because I don't know like baby metal and and yeah like the the japanese like j-pop slash metal crossover bands i don't know if they have a lot of regular metal fan appeal hmm. maybe they do that you know that sounds like an episode of podcast i'm down coming to you soon <laughs> <laughs> someone write it down <laughs> but i think uh um Belligerent, unknowing cultural appropriation is very metal. Very metal. <laughs> That's true. There you go. Yeah, I'm going to have to go with a 9.5 here, too. Wow, that, this one's going to be hard to beat. People think it's an ancient art. It was just created at the end of the 19th century. 
Uh, that'll be ancient eventually. <laughs> yeah, and whoever was talking about centers of gravity and exploiting people's weaknesses, that was you, Mike. That's that's metal when it's not at its core. Yeah, you're right. All right. Uh, next, new for the 2020 Olympics, karate. And there are, I apologize for saying these things wrong. Um, so, uh, there, there are two types, this kata and kumite. Uh, the first one is solo and the second is sparring. So, uh, the solo thing, you know, you can think of a, a, a bedroom black metal project, but you know what? Uh, just because it's metal doesn't mean it's good. <laughs> so, uh, I'm going to score solo low and the sparring one high. So I'm going to go uh, two and a half and eight and uh, eight and a third. <laughs> Your breakdown is correct. Your scores are wrong. Okay. Um, <laughs> kata is boring. It's just watching someone practice the forms. Uh, that's a one. Um, yeah, I understand it's a fundamental, but we don't like see the other sports like th there's there's not two uh golf events there's not like um driving putting and golf uh you know it's a fundamental part of the sport but we don't need solo kata um kumite i'm giving a 8.88 um only because of not the olympic event but because of the uh movie blood sport that revolves yes. around Known liar Frank Dux, who made up an entire thing that never happened, um, and got Ogre from Revenge of the Nerds to star in his movie with uh, JCVD, um, and that's a pretty metal movie. Uh, the song, uh, which features the repeated chanted chorus "Kumite, Kumite," uh, is is great. It's not so metal. It's kind of like '80s uh, lame pop metal, but it's it's still metal enough. All right. I think I'll go with a two and a seven for the <laughs> breakdown for all, all the reasons described. I can't believe I'm the one defending progressive metal here. <laughs> but isn't that exactly what, you know, that, that two minute dream theater instrumental that before it goes into that song you love? Isn't that Kata? <laughs> Is it? Oh. <laughs> I am tripling my score just for that observation. <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to go with a four and an eight. <laughs> nice. All right. Uh, if, if you're following along in the spreadsheet, I'm actually going to skip ahead. Uh, it, it'll make sense in a minute. Okay. I, I see what you're doing. So I let's do shooting. So there's three types of shooting. There's rifle, pistol, and shotgun. So uh, I I kept them all together. So we're we're doing shooting as a whole. Uh, and how about Doug? Do you want to start with shooting? <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to do any research, but they don't use human targets undoubtedly. So it's only an eight. <laughs> uh, yeah. Be, you know what? I think it'd be more competitive if you were shooting at each other. It's it's a killing art, so that's a high score. Um, I just remember I once uh, saw a documentary, and uh, they were talking about Olympic target shooters actually have to control their heartbeats. Um, and a lot of North Koreans allegedly take beta blockers to uh, prevent their heart from beating as hard. Um, because they're, we're talking about such minuscule attention to detail that even the movement of blood in your hand could 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 put you off um that sounds cool it sounds technical um but when i think metal i think uh halberds war hammers uh edge weapons um a lot of stuff got ruined with the introduction of gunpowder uh and modern war is less metal than like flaying people so it's only a seven i'm gonna go with a nine because the band fuck i'm dead has a song called shotgun facelift <laughs> so i think that works that's a good argument. Good argument for, for the shotgun. So in the 1906 and 1908 Olympics, they had Olympic dueling, but 
that you would shoot at a plaster oh. human target. So in that same human vein, target, no. they they have taken competitive murder and made it kind of lame. So I'm going to, it is still metal, but I'm going to give it a six and a half. All right. Are, so the, now, are the plaster, are the plaster targets, are they, are they models of the person that you're facing against? Because that do they, do they have like more good, like, you more know, when you go to the, to the beach and there's the caricature artist, <laughs> like, do they have that face? All right. And so now, now we're going to back up. Uh, alphabetically to the modern pentathlon. The pentathlon is pistol shooting, apex fencing, uh, swimming, and show jumping, and then a run. So I would say, with the exception of shooting, I think we decided all of these were not metal events. And, uh, you know, throwing a gun into it isn't going to help it too much. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a, a four. Mm-hmm. The, I'm actually going to argue that this should be a 10. Because mm-hmm. this is basically robbing a train and getting away. Yeah. <laughs> right. Like, like this is this is committing a crime and escaping. That's what this, this entire thing is. Which is fairly metal. Fa- uh, that is a good argument. That is a good Mike argument. Is, <laughs> Mike is absolutely right, but I have some schadenfreude for him thinking about that instead of me. Um, so because of that, I'm only going to give it a 9.99. <laughs> 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 yeah, I, I buy this line of thought, and I'm going to go with a 10. Wow. I'm surprised. Man, and I feel we'll, like we'll I should it. maybe... I have a comment on Matt's not. comment that we'll take in our Sabaton episode, but the the Great War was the most metal war of all. Ooh. I, Coming I soon to an episode the rest of podcast them yeah. down. We're going to have to go to twice weekly at this rate. <laughs> Especially because we still haven't talked about fucking Quest for Fire yet. <laughs> right. We, the the episode that can't... Well, I think we've been talking about doing the Sabaton episode for longer than that. Because <laughs> one of the first couple of episodes, I said, this is not the Sabaton episode. All right. And Matt, uh, separately, we're going to have to do our Quest for Fire, the movie, The Bear, and Two Brothers triple feature. <laughs> I'm let's just, in, let's just uh, do podcast. an MST3K style uh, live stream of those. Watch a lot. <laughs> That's right. All right. Uh, rowing is next. Uh, I don't give a fuck about rowing. You know, like, I I can see if there's a dragon head on your ship and you're going to go raid, but you, you know what you're going to do? You're going to get to the... You're going to get to the finish line, then you're going to disengage your core. Who cares? I give it 0.5. You know, in, in, uh, in, in math and logic, we learn about necessary conditions and sufficient conditions. Uh, it is necessary to row to be a Viking, but it is not sufficient to be a Viking. It's a zero for me. If you were going to go pillage a town, the first step would be rowing, right? So it has to, it's at least, there's at least some additive, uh, value to this. So I'll actually give it a three because it's, I, I'm, I'm going to view pillaging a town to be a three-step process. Is getting there, pillaging, <laughs> going Shit. back. So, so two of those least, are rowing. At least two of those are rowing. Yeah, but you know, I, I, I don't. <laughs> but maybe it's maybe it's getting there, pillaging, and enjoying your spoils. Let's put it that way, so that we're not counting rowing twice. Like if you don't quit your job and go to that bar. The guy's not going to give you a beer and and play metal louder than hell. So I mean that's that's good logic. <laughs> well, and let's just put rowing in its contemporary context. You, you wake up at three thirty in the morning. You do something miserable, <laughs> and you think it matters. That's pretty metal. But, yeah. So I'm actually give, even go with a five when we add in the oh. the Viking right. context. Yeah, that's fair. That's All point. right, next rugby sevens. So the sevens 
means it's uh, seven players for s- per side instead of 15, and seven minute halves instead of 40 minute halves. So I think rugby is metal as fuck. <laughs> you know, it's just uh, giant piles of writhing men. That's pretty metal. So uh, clearly I need to give this a 7.77, <laughs> which is what I'm doing now. Yeah, seven points. Se- I'm actually going to give it a, a. I keep pressing the wrong button here. Uh, I'm going to give it a seven point seven 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 seven, uh, which is seven sevens. Um, for the sheer reason that it's so metal that they unnecessarily introduced a number based <laughs> rule. Uh, seven players, seven minutes. That's that's sevens all the way. That's pretty kind, metal. Kind of prog. Sevens, yeah. There you go. <laughs> so I'm actually going to rate it higher. I'm going to go eight, for a eight? nine. I'm going to go for a nine because wow. the reduction in uh, number of players and the reduction in time would probably make for a much more frantic and violent game. He's right. <laughs> He's right. He's absolutely right. And I don't even need to do any thinking here because this this sport is the same primitive violent origins as football, so it's a nine. I'm bound to that original score. All right, next sailing. Uh, you know, I'm thinking of uh, running wild, and I'm thinking mm. of uh, douchebags. I'm thinking of uh, uh, oh, what's that? Uh, Royal Galley by Falconer. Those both involve sailing, but not in these Land. tiny little uh, hoity-toity boats with their with their uh, jibs and booms that are made of carbon fiber and uh, piloted by rich assholes. So I'm going to give this a zero. <laughs> much like uh, much like BMX, uh, there already is a genre of music uh, associated with sailing. That's yacht rock. Yacht rock. <laughs> yacht rock is not metal. That's what? a negative ten for me. <laughs> yacht rock. What is Yacht Rock? <laughs> you know Yacht Rock. Oh, you know Yacht Rock. You know it. You just don't you know. Like, if you like pina coladas yeah. getting caught in the rain. Oh, my God. I need to do way more research on this. I mean, I'm a big fan of Yacht Rock myself. That's not a very metal thing to say. Uh, but it's. I can tell you it's not, not metal. Average white band. Is it Yacht Rock? Or a Scottish no, no. R&B That's band? more funky. Uh... Um, uh, uh, more like, um, the Doobie Brothers. Doobie? Oh, Steely Dan. Steely Dan is very, is, is very Yacht Rock. Oh, I'm, um, my world's been flipped, turned upside down. <laughs> uh, I'll go with the, I'll go with the two here. New Wave Yacht Rock? Classic Yacht Rock? What is happening? What happened? Join me and Mike Netweek for Yacht Cast Them Down. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, and out here we don't call them yachts, and Yacht Rock is white zombie, but... um, (laughs) In Baltimore, we call them boats. Yeah. In the Inner Harbor. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Need you stars and bars and some Pantera and some Miller Lite. I took some, the water taxi down down to Fells Point. Sometimes the boats are hold, held together by nuts and boats. Best thing is I can leave the kids in the science center and then I can go and get a beer. <laughs> what kind of beer are you going to get? Oh, Natty Bo. You going to get a bow on your boat? <laughs> going to get a bow on the boat, but I can't get on the water taxi because they're going to yell at me. And then I look at Fort McHenry and think all the boys who died for my freedom. <laughs> there ain't nothing more metal than sitting in my boat and not going anywhere as long as I'm in that harbor. Uh, <laughs> did, did, did you score sailing yet? Because I feel like it should get a high score because now I'm thinking of sailing in the harbor. <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to give it a four and respect it's history and trade and conquest. 
to the I same get too thing. drunk. It's okay because I got a friend who lives in Locust Point. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next new for 2020 skateboarding. Uh, oh. I think skateboarding. I think James Hetfield broke his arm during the uh, the Master of Puppets tour because he was skateboarding. Mm-hmm. I think of all the thrash bands. Uh, you, but it would- you, you know, it's also kind of like that gray area between punk and hardcore and yeah. metal. Uh, so the- I'm going to temper it a little bit and give it a, a six and a half. The image of James Hetfield Hetfield skateboarding though negates <laughs> any of the metalness. That James Hetfield skateboarding would have, right? Yeah, he looks like he's in suicidal tendencies when he does that. Which, which, uh, if if anyone missed the reference, Robert Trujillo, the current bassist, was in suicidal tendencies. So, oh, I did <laughs> yeah. that. I'm going to give it a zero um, because it's new. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like kill switch engage. It sucks now, but. Maybe I'll look back when we do this, when we revisit, revisit this in eight years and be like, yeah, okay, fine. It's metal. I, I thought you were going to say that Kill Switch Engage sucks now and they didn't used to. And I was going to argue with you about that. I can say Robert Trujillo, by the way. I, yeah. I am capable of saying it. Pronounce <laughs> Trujillo. Uh, hey, what, yeah. what was the score, Doug? Zero. It was a big zero because it's, uh, it's new. Because it's new. Yeah, I, I, I'm totally listening. I have good reason. listening comprehension and short-term memory. All right. So th- there's some opportunity for injury in skateboarding. I mean, is this all skateboarding events like the half pipe and like, like, like? That's a good question. I, 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 I don't know what the events are. Is is Matt looking it up? I mean, there's no, there's no history because it's a new game. Well, uh, with the half pipe, they can get a lot of air and then they can eat it hard. I mean, I remember Skate TV on Nickelodeon, and that was pretty. Awesome. There, see, uh, Wikipedia is unhelpful because there's Men's Street, Women's Street, Women's Park, and Men's Park. So the park is probably like a uh, skate like park. Tricks, yeah, like half, yeah. And skate, uh, our street might be a race. It really yeah. doesn't. It really I mean, doesn't I'd give those it. like a two, but I'd give the half pipe like a five because you can get real injured on that half pipe. <laughs> so you want to split the difference there, three and a half? Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Uh, Every, the, the sound you hear is everyone checking my math. <laughs> I'm just, I, I, it's new. You're right, Doug. It's new. It's, it's, it can't be anything but a zero. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next sport climbing. So sport climbing. Climbing, I believe, involves all the types of climbing. So racing up a hill, bouldering a hill, a, mount, a cliff or whatever, uh, uh, bouldering and so on. Also new for 2020. So let's see how long <laughs> if you can maintain your uh, thing. So they are harnessed in, I believe. Yeah. Or they will be harnessed in. So uh, that takes some of the danger away. You, you know, they can't get too hurt unless the harness fails. Too much safety. You know, they don't have that safety on the trampoline. So I'm going to give it a, a, a five. No, I'm going to give it a zero. Uh, I'm, I'm glad. <laughs> I'll do a four. I'm going to split the difference here and give it a 0. 0.45. Um... <laughs> Yeah, it, it doesn't belong in the Olympics. And you All climb right. a mountain because it's there, not yeah. for sport. Yeah, and then you ride a bike down it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, now if it was like a game in which you climbed other people while they were playing a sport, that's a ten out of ten. Like, like right. just like trying to like scramble up a a rugby player in his seven minute sides. You're throwing crazy. hammers at someone climbing. Uh, <laughs> there you go. Yeah, if it was combined with the hammer throw, now you're talking. Like it was right. the what was was the American Gladiator thing? Yeah, people are shooting. If it was going on concurrently with the shooting, 
All right, next. Yeah. Surfing, new for 2020. Uh, should I just, just write down yeah, a zero as a matter for you, of Doug? Policy, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So, so, so I, I'm not beholden to your rules, but uh, I don't think there's anything very, very metal about surfing. It's more of like a jam band thing, so I'm going to go with a zero. I'm going to have to give it a 0.01 because my favorite metal album of all time is actually three albums and it's Death Metal Beach Party 1, 2, and 3. Uh, so well, that's... that's if, uh, if I had more money, there'd be more albums because it's all recorded. I just can't afford to release it. So, I mean, that's, that is going to give a, a 0.01 for me. And, and while they're not a metal band, that that Rammstein Beach Boys video. Is oh, Mindland! Oh, that's brilliant. That's a that's great, br- that's a great. brilliant video. I'm I'm gonna go with a one here because I always thought that the singer of Obituary sounded like a surfer, <laughs> just with his just with the affectation of his delivery, and for no other reason. <laughs> that's that's right. a good point. Next is table tennis. Zero. 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 Wow. Oh, wait, can you put back what what is what did Mike give it a one? Yeah, sorry. Doug, uh, uh, there's a zero for Doug, I assume. I think uh, it's an automatic zero. Well, uh, someone give me a rationale. Um, Tennis is not an. Oh wait, it is. <laughs> um, we haven't gotten to regular it's tennis. A, all right, it's a it's a paddle. There. Uh-huh. Are, Different implications to paddles than, of course, rackets. Right. I, hard surface, hard ball. I think I can sum it up very succinctly in that it's adorable tennis. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that, that is a great <sighs> point. You know, and, and I was watching Pickleball the other day. Um, and Pickleball, if you've never seen it, is basically like playing table tennis if you were shrunk down to that being the size of human <laughs> tennis. So it's like, if you wanted to play a table tennis-like game, you could have just had pickleball. But there are, there are metal genres that are ascent, that it's they're sub-genres by sub- subtraction, right? And that's kind of what table tennis is. <laughs> so I, I'm actually going to give it a four. Well, just because... Uh, I, okay, I see where you're getting with it. Yep. Are you going to change your zero? No. <laughs> yeah, all right, next. All. Taekwondo. Now, the pictogram for take, uh, Taekwondo. Taekwondo? What's, taekwondo. Uh, taekwondo is uh, a guy kicking where someone's head used to be. Uh, that's metal as fuck. I'm going to give it a nine and a half. That's so another martial art. It's uh quite violent the, yeah, the well, object is to destroy your opponent <laughs> is that what the sport is in the olympics is it sparring or is it just like yeah it's sparring it's sparring okay yeah and nine yeah i'm gonna give it an eight only because following the uh olympics uh boxing logic it has pads it does have pads. I'm gonna yeah. knock it down to a, a nine. Mm. Like if you could, if you could, like break someone's jaw. Sorry, Mike. Then it would be like a great, <laughs> uh, a great sport. But as long as you're wearing like a face pad, what's the point? Hey, you don't have to apologize. I, I voluntarily broke my jaw, so really, I was. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. I, 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 I just still feel, you know, That's I've listened. Metal. To, I've listened to those episodes. They're pretty traumatic just listening to them. So, you know, I, I, oh, I yeah, feel like it's only, only common courtesy. <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> yeah, courtesy is metal. Empathy is not. <laughs> <laughs> the courtesy, yeah, that's a 50. Fi- it's contextual. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go with a nine here. And I feel no, I will not justify that score. All right. Uh, can you write that one down? I, I was looking something up. I was yep. reading ahead again. All right. 
Yeah, so we're all staring at this. Well, many of us are staring at the spreadsheet for uh, for those at home. So, all right. Next is tennis. I think tennis is perfectly medium metal. Uh, what I hate about tennis is not the tennis players or the game. It's the asshole in the lifeguard chair who has to sit under an umbrella and those fucking ball boys who are like ready to go. They're like in the sprinter stance. If you could really run that fast, you'd be in one of the uh, not metal events, you know? So, all right, I'm going to use one of my challenges here. And yeah. <laughs> Doug has thrown his red challenge flag. Well, well let me just say what? it's a four, but go ahead. You you said tennis is perfectly. I th- I forget your exact word. I said it's like halfway metal. Yeah, How I, is, I was going to give it a five. In, in, what in any way is metal about tennis? <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, arbitrary scoring system. Okay. They call zero love for some reason, and then your next point is worth fifteen, and then your next point is thirty. And then your next point is 40. And then if your opponent does not have more than 30, your next point is, wait, I lost track. It's, it's love 15, 30, 40 win. And you have to soundly defeat your opponent. None of this tie shit. None of this mm-hmm. overtime. None of that. You have to win by two. You have to definitively, uh, crush your opponent. More or less. And uh, there's some chance for injury. And um, there's a lot of grunting in women's tennis. So that's kind of metal. And it's mentioned in a Shakespeare play. It's mentioned in Henry V, the most metal Shakespeare play. <laughs> and, and Jack Panzer are singing right. about Shakespeare. Tim has soundly so. responded to my challenge. So I bind my score to his. <laughs> So it's a, it's a four for you. So it is metal, but you know, there's a lot of it. That's not metal. It's it's not democratic. There, there are obvious things in the game that no one wishes to speak of. (laughs) Right. That's pretty metal. I I would also like to refer to an earlier comment from Tim. So Going back to the band Anal Blast, you know, they're a porno grind band and Ball Boys Ready to Go uh, is pretty relevant to porno <laughs> grind, which is so I, I think its metalness is pretty well established here. Um, I, I'll go with a five here. I'll go with a five. I, I'm going to have to go with uh, Mike's five as well. Uh, in addition to the thing that we're not going to talk about, the <laughs> Doug obliquely mentioned. Uh, I would also like to say that one of the characteristic um, emotions of male tennis players is irrational um, <laughs> omnidirectional rage, uh, which is extremely metal. <laughs> Good point. I feel like with all the with everything we said, we should have scored it higher. But I, I feel like there's still something intrinsic about it that's not metal. Yeah, I, I mean, anything you can do in white sneakers isn't inherently metal. I don't, I don't know. Lots of '80s bands had white high tops. <laughs> they advertised Rolex watches during the game. Yeah, it's that's not, not metal. metal. That's not metal. All right. I mean, it's made of metal. Next is the triathlon, which, uh, when I wasn't paying attention earlier, I was looking up what it is. It's uh, you have to swim and bike and run. So, uh, going back to the pentathlon, you know, it's, it's all the coolness of, uh, uh, all, all the coolness of robbing a train has been taken away. And now you're just, uh, going from one place to another. So I think it's kind of lame. So I got, I'm going to score it below what I scored the pentathlon and give it a three. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Um, just like modernity. Uh, we've gone from like robbing a train and escaping to just commuting to work. Uh, and I'm going to give the inverse of my pentathlon <laughs> score, which is a negative 9.99. Yeah, you're right. This is just like some douchey person commuting into DC. Yeah, they, <laughs> they took, they took the gun away and they took the horse away. Yeah. Yeah. What's the point? I'm going to give this a seven. Oh yeah, 
And the reason is, is that these are all the skills that you would need to escape from a Lovecraftian horror. <laughs> what? Um, He's not which wrong. is pretty metal. You are not wrong. He's not wrong. <laughs> Yeah, and if you needed to pursue someone endlessly, yeah, yeah, I, I mean, like this, like the Nazgul would use these skills, right? Like, and that's pretty metal tool. So, so there's there's some, you know, there are some dovetailing with metal concepts here, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a solid five. Nice. That worked uh-huh. out nicely. Are you sticking with your negative 9.99, Matt? Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, next is volleyball. See, we're getting to the end. Uh, volleyball. There's two types of volleyball. Volleyball and beach volleyball. Beach volleyball being two on two. Regular volleyball being six or six so. Six. Versus six or so. <laughs> um, and is played indoors. Uh, this... I. This one's tough for me. Uh, you know, uh, the one of the key aspects of volleyball is to uh, anticipate your opponent's movement, and when they go to smash the ball into o- over the net onto your side of the court, what you're supposed to do is to splay your fingers out and try to block it. High potential to ruin your fingers. That's that's kind of metal. <laughs> or your fingers are okay. You can still... But it, apparently falling and splaying your hand like that is how you break your wrist. Right. So, yeah. High potential for injury. Not so much in beach volleyball because the sand cushions you in some way. So, I know volleyball will, will be higher than beach volleyball. I just don't know where those scores should land. So, how about, how about someone else goes? I'm going to go with the... Uh... Six for volleyball and an eight for beach volleyball. Oh, you went the opposite way. I would have. Uh, beach volleyball involves a lot of uh, posing, but not conveyed as posing. Right? So I that's very metal. <laughs> it is. You had to dress a specific way, but it's it's for the it's because that's what you do. Hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm it was adherence to the to the uniform or the not the uniform. Yeah, I get you. So I'm I'm gonna follow Doug here. So I mean let's go over the basic volleyball moves. There's bumping, that doesn't sound metal. There's setting, not so metal. There's spiking, that sounds metal. Um so that's one out of three. So that's like a 3.33, right? That's, that's only fair. Um, but, uh, beach volleyball, um, you put it outside. Uh, they're not perfect correlates, but if we say that like metal is taking the attitude of rock and roll to its logical conclusion, um, like volleyball already has kind of like tight, skimpy outfits. For both male and female players, uh, you just put them in bathing suits. Uh, volleyball has a lot of like bills and like high flying acrobatics, and and the beach context allows them to do that. So it gets a, a respectable medal score of six point six six. Yeah, you you camp it up, but that's not what it is. Of course, stop yeah. at a camp, but it's camp. Uh, I think I'll do four for both. <laughs> I just, I just don't. Uh, I, I, I hear the arguments. I respect them, but they just don't quite click with me. I'm going to stick with uh, volleyball is more metal than beach volleyball, just based on the injury risk. <laughs> um, there, there are arcane symbols, you know, hand signs for for instructing everyone what they should do. So I think that mm-hmm. would bump. It, the scores for both up a little, so I'm going to go with seven for volleyball and five for beach volleyball. All right, next. I wear a secret Wait. talisman. I make the secret secret sign. sign. That's right. Yeah, to to block the spike. <laughs> so, uh, weightlifting is next. So, uh, so weightlifting. Uh, I, I just I just use the 
heuristics here and yeah that judas priest hot rock and hot rock yeah <laughs> well that was that's about going to the sauna after you're done weightlifting <laughs> uh that yeah weightlifting is prominently featured though it is you said 10, weightlifting right? at jason at minimum yeah 10 i mean weightlifting you think about a bunch of dudes listening to metal like Racking up power squats, uh, cl- clean and jerk doesn't sound very metal. <laughs> um, depends but, on the uh, band. Depends on the but, band. Yeah, the, the those activities are metal. Yeah, the words, the words aren't so metal. But the whole concept of like raw power, lift the heaviest thing possible, and then throw it on the floor with want and abandon, run uh, pointlessly. Yeah, yeah. The, the possibility of just having every muscle in your body ripping apart and, like, dying under an iron bar. Uh, <laughs> that can't what? escape. Turning into a raging asshole. Yeah. Dying yeah. under an iron bar is going to be my next out. Uh, Steroids. Uh, so it's, it's Mike, Mike has used these episodes to just you yeah. know, write his whole next release. I look forward to I have a friend at Locust Point. I'm trying to come up with reasons weightlifting isn't metal, and I'm having a hard time because I mean I mean I feel like Scandinavians excel at it. Um, yeah. Uh you are you significantly shorten your life by participating in it. <laughs> I mean yeah, it, this it, is all metal as fuck. I'm gonna go it's with It's one of the few sports you can do and then immediately afterwards just get trashed. <laughs> I'm yeah, gonna go with six point six six, but I'm gonna flip it around and make it a nine point nine nine. Good call. <laughs> it's a, uh, yeah, it's a ten for me. It's 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 hard to see anything oh. in it that ain't metal. Alright, so basically something's gonna need a perfect score to beat this. So let's see. <laughs> we we only oh. have a few left. Next, wrestling. There's freestyle well, and Greco-Roman, and I forget the exact difference. I believe freestyle, the opponents start on their feet, and in Greco-Roman, one starts in the submissive position, and the other starts in the offensive position. All right, That's so correct. this is a zero and a ten. <laughs> For freestyle and Greco-Roman, respectively? Yes. We've established that ain't nothing about metal about freestyle. <laughs> That's right. I, for- <laughs> I already forgot. Uh, but yeah, there's nothing more metal than Greco Roman wrestling. Except maybe it. weightlifting. There. I, I hate the fact that my scores are identical with Doug so often, but he when he's right, he's right. It's. <laughs> Oh, that's you. <laughs> but yeah, it's a zero and a ten. One hundred percent. I don't know. This one's tough. <clears throat> yeah, me too. I'm not sure. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna be unhelpful and uh give them both fives. <laughs> I give them both seven. All right. Uh so that is it for the official events. There was one uh, bonus event I wanted to include. They are doing an ex- ex- exhibition of sumo wrestling since these Olympics are in Tokyo. So sumo wrestling is metal as fuck, in my opinion, because uh, it's basically a religious ritual, uh, and it involves purifying the ring with salt it involves stamping out the evil demons from the ring there are, you, your entire life is consumed by being a sumo wrestler there is a very strict code uh dress code uh they all style their hair in the same way the better you get the more elaborate your costume becomes so um and you eat your face off <laughs> so, uh, while There's maintaining well. supreme power. So this, I believe, this 
I'm going to give Sumo my perfect 10. My only 10 of the whole thing. I don't think it should be an Olympic sport, though, because, I mean, who besides Japan is going to have decent sumo wrestlers, you know? <laughs> but. I agree. I, I like the asterisk. Uh, one of my favorite parts of sumo, besides all the things you just described, uh, is that between matches, uh, a bunch of guys with flags on their batch backs come out to do the advertising. Um so there's no like classic ring advertising around. It's just guys with flags on their backs. Um, it's a perfect 10, uh, except for maybe Tonga. You're right. It shouldn't be an Olympic sport. Uh, uh, only Japan and the Polynesian islands would dominate. Um, but it's, it's the perfect metal sport. I should. And it rewards, it rewards obesity, a common feature <laughs> of metal fans. So, uh, uh, before anyone beats, Beats me to the counterpoint, you have to cleanse your mouth, which I don't know if that's metal. And the judge awards points by pointing a fan in either direction. And I, I'm not sure if fans are are metal unless they're metal fans. Well, well yeah, fans are metal. metal. And yeah, I think fan. it's a 10 for me. And the, the fact that it's spectacle and not sport mitigate and that it's an ancient thing unlike skateboarding mitigates the newness <laughs> right it is very old so <laughs> you, you can't you can't uh it, it would be the opposite of the new rule <laughs> hey, hard to argue with a 10 that wow. wow something is well that's that's amazing that's amazing all right <clears throat> official results Oh, I have to increase the amount of decimal places, yeah, apparently. There we go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, uh, let's, <laughs> let's start with the bottom, I don't know, five or so? Well, there's a lot of ones. I'll start right there. So, uh, the bottom 11. Oh, should I, should I do the bed? The bottom 11 are uh, canoe slalom, canoe sprint, Equestrian dressage, dressage, equestrian eventing, equestrian jumping, table tennis, rhythm, rhythmic gymnastics. I believe that was gymnastics. Yep, yep. Surfing, artistic swimming, golf, and dead last is sailing. <laughs> With a score of negative one. You know, when, right. when artistic swimming got all zeros out of the jump, I thought it was going to be dead last, and I'm impressed by its position of only third from the bottom. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and this is where our objective analytical framework is so revealing, because who would have thought sailing would end up there? Yeah, yeah. Right, I'm surprised. <laughs> so, all right, the the top ten, so for your Olympic watching schedule these are the ones you want to prioritize as they are the most metal we got greco-roman wrestling at number 10 kumite karate at number nine rugby sevens at number eight unfortunately should have been seven damn it in seven is uh football known to our american friends as soccer six is the javelin throw Five, satisfyingly, is the modern pentathlon for the uh, train robbery. Four is taekwondo. Three is judo. Two is weightlifting with a near perfect score of 9.995. And the winner of the most metal sport to be shown at the Tokyo 2020 Olympics in 2021 is ah oh man i still need a longer drum roll is sumo wrestling <laughs> all right so thanks for listening you're welcome we have done you a service and we've done it for free uh complete results will post somewhere all right thanks for listening Thanks for listening to Podcast Them Down. You can find Burning Shadows, Eisenmore, and Recently Vacated Graves on Bandcamp, as well as Facebook, along with Fade to Black Metallica Tribute and Podcast Them Down itself. Until next time, keep it metal.
I have a suggestion. Yes. Is that each of us pick something off the bottom 10 and, and then what? figure out what it would take to make it much more metal. Our Just one of them. <laughs> Are we doing this now? This is bonus content. This is a bonus content. Uh, this will be the Easter egg I stick after the end. So bottom 10. <laughs> um, yeah. That's the canoe stuff. That's the horse stuff. That's table tennis. That's rhythmic gymnastics. Surfing. Hi, are we trying to get it into the top 10? What are we trying to do here? Yeah, well, just, what, would just what would make it more metal? Okay. Uh, surfing. Uh-huh. Uh, I, I will take surfing. It, you need shark infested waters and it needs to, you, you need to have ch uh, chum bucket attached to you or your surfboard. All right. All right. Now I it's like metal it. as fuck. <laughs> I like it. All right. Let, let, let's take dressage. <laughs> right? Yeah. All right. So there were some comments when we were talking about dressage about, you know, taking credit for the horse. You know, it's like you're 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 on the horse and you're getting all the credit when really the horse did all the work. So I think we need to do something to correct this imbalance. I'm trying to think of exactly the best way. I don't know if maybe you're competing against the horse, <laughs> um, doing the same things that the horse is doing. Yes. I was thinking um, everything you do on the horse, the horse has to do on you. <laughs> <laughs> so that's pretty good because there's a very high risk of injury. Right. Um, and I think the other thing, you know, with, with dressage, I think a lot of the, the obstacles or whatever they are, are pretty gentle. So basically, we should just put razor blades in, in basically anything that's being used in dressage. Uh, that way, you or the horse basically has to endure. There's a high danger component then. That's, yeah, that's yeah. And this makes it basically metal as fuck. And, 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 you know, if the horse is riding you while you're attempting to do dressage maneuvers, I like this idea, Tim. I think, you know, everything about this becomes infinitely more metal. That does tie into humanity's rich tradition of animal torture. So, yeah. <laughs> you know, metal is about appreciating the past. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I guess I'll, I'll... I did not put many of these in the bottom ten. Point of fact. But I did <laughs> put artistic swimming here. Mm. Um, so you take away the word artistic. Uh, <laughs> right. That's that's number one for sure. Yeah, and you, you just... I mean... I, I, I think something that you can, you know, maybe with the with the water, it's like maybe you, there's a time limit. Yeah. What if you had to be underwater the entire time? Oh. And you get well, points for how long your routine is. Well, I had an idea for artistic swimming, which is basically uh, it's uh, two teams are in the pool, right. and the teams are divided among half of the team is doing whatever the routine is. But the other half is trying to interfere and or defend uh, their own uh, sequence. So, like, maybe, like, ten people are doing the, the dancing, but then the other team's trying to pull them apart or keep them from doing their thing, and, and the other team. So, it's like a melee in the pool. That sounds like the, the metal equivalent would be trying to play guitar while in the mosh pit, I, I assume. Yeah, something, something like that. So everybody's dressed the same. Yeah, yeah. So you, you don't, don't know, know who's who. And and part of the strategy oh, shit. <laughs> is deploying your 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 workers and your soldiers <laughs> to use ant terms for some reason. I, th I think if we add like traps into this as well, so like you could permanently, yeah, like 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 one of the during the dance, one of the interferers can take. It's in like put them in like in a cage or something for the remainder of the dance, and then they're down. <laughs> A swimmer. It's just like a big metal boot, <laughs> and they just <laughs> float to the bottom of the. And there's like a scuba guy there, you know, so they don't need to die. Well, I think that that increases the metalness, though. If, well, yeah, but I mean, and then they have to work on finishing the dance as fast as possible to save their teammate. <laughs> <laughs> you, gotta, you get a point deduction for every dead. <laughs> 
Oh, they got her in the boot. <laughs> Did you have one, Matt? Uh, I was I, I was going to say sailing would be a lot more metal. Um, if uh, like, if first one, of all, first of all, it's a long boat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, make it a much more metal looking boat. Uh, number two, uh, I like the danger aspect. So. If the boat was either sinking or on fire, yes, uh, and you had to use like your sailing knowledge to get to a specific rescue point, uh, it could also be in your shark-infested uh, surfing uh, zone, um, you know, to add that element of danger. But it, it's much more like beat. You're not just racing to beat your opponents. You're beating the clock to, before you drown. I, actually, I love that. Like, I I think that could really. Bring it from dead last to dead first. Yeah. <laughs> so, going with the longboat as well, something that you could do is, uh, you know, imagine everybody is like a Viking. It's like they have to basically, like, capture other Olympians to serve as the people rowing the longboat. So scripted. <laughs> yeah, so, so, basically, they'll, like, infiltrate other events. And- I love... I like this idea. I'm gonna I'm gonna modify it a little bit. It's yeah. not the boat that wins; it's the crew. So let's say, for example, your boat is going up in flames. What's to stop you from like doing like a piratey swing across the mast and commandeering a less you know, on fire boat? Ooh! So this is basically now this. piracy. I, I love this. <laughs> it's uh, like I, Olympic I, Olympic pirate. All right. The the IOC can contact us directly. <laughs> Through, via Facebook, <laughs> we will consult on this. Uh, this is the end of our free advice on how to <laughs> how to increase the metalness, especially of of your by far the least metal sport. So it's not free right. for me because I spent seventy dollars on steerresolve.com.